Now, a bit of sad news, I'm afraid. A cyclist has died after being knocked off her bike in Norwich. The woman in her 60s collided with a Renault Laguna at the junction of Abelmarle Road and Newmarket Road. It happened at a quarter past 12 yesterday lunchtime. In a separate incident, another cyclist has been taken to hospital this morning following a collision near Ketts Hill Roundabout. So is Norwich safe for cyclists? Our producer Paul Hayes has been speaking to Peter Silburn, the chair of the Norwich Cycling Campaign. I think there has been an increase recently in in more aggressive driving and more dangerous driving, and uh, the uh, so there's been a number of death, cyclist deaths recently. Uh, there was one in in uh, I think in February on the Ring Road, and there was also a cyclist killed out near Wharton, and of course there was the uh, the teenage boy. Uh, killed I think last month as a cyclist myself in Norwich I generally feel safe but I have to say you feel a little bit it's potluck really if you happen to to be there in in the wrong place at the wrong time and uh, a driver you know is driving too fast or aggressively or isn't really taking your your safety seriously uh, you could end up dead or seriously injured and it really shouldn't be like that Uh, cycling is not a dangerous activity um, you know, it, it, the cause of the danger is, is cars. So what we need is, is more protected cycle infrastructure, cycle lanes on busy roads to protect people who want to choose to ride a bike from, from dangerous drivers. It, it's what they do in, in countries like the Netherlands and in plenty of other places. Uh, it, it's the only answer, you know, um, to, to provide physical protection uh, on busy roads for people who choose to choose to cycle. You mentioned there about the infrastructure and you talked about how it often comes down, in your opinion, to the attitudes of of particular drivers and and how they interact and obey the rules of the road regarding cyclists. Uh, So what do you feel about the current state of the cycling infrastructure in Norwich? Are are there changes you'd like to see made to that? Certainly, yes. Um, um, You know, I... For a UK city, it's it's not too bad, but that's not saying a huge amount. Um, I mean, I think I think most people now recognise that uh, the Netherlands is the world leader in in providing cycle infrastructure, and as a as a result of that, they have huge numbers of people cycling. Um, you know, typically in a typical Dutch city, it might be fifty percent of of all journeys are taken by bike, whereas in this country. The figures are around sort of you know two or three percent, and um, you know you, you won't get more people cycling unless you build the infrastructure. Uh, it's not enough just to encourage people to cycle. Um, you need to actually physically make it safe for them and make them feel safe. Um, and you know I, I kind of repeat what I said earlier that, that you know I, I think actually it is generally safe to cycle in Norwich. And uh, I think it's been calculated that the health benefits you get from, from cycling uh, sort of far outweigh the, the risk of, of being killed or seriously injured. You know, uh, the, you know, the converse of that would be to sit at home on your sofa, you know, getting unfit and, and unhealthy. So but the exercise you get from cycling and being in the fresh air certainly is, is beneficial. But that's not much of a consolation if, if you've been killed or someone, you, you know, one of your loved ones or, so many know has been killed and you know every death is, is one too many and uh you know we've had in within the norwich city area we've now had two deaths this, this year so far i mean that that's too too many despite these issues and and these incidents that have happened you do generally feel safe cycling around norwich Yes, yes, generally. Um, but of course, you've got to bear in mind it's the perception. I mean, we speak to a lot of people who tell us, yes, I'd love to cycle, but I don't, I don't feel safe. And it's not enough just to, to tell people it, you know, it, it is safe. And perhaps statistically, despite these horrific collisions, it is still statistically fairly safe. But if people's perception is that it's dangerous, they won't cycle. So we need to make it both physically safe and actually you know, feel safe. That was Peter Silburn, who's the chair of the Norwich Cycling Campaign, talking to us following the news that a cyclist has died after being knocked off her bike in Norwich yesterday lunchtime. And today another cyclist was taken to hospital following a collision near Ketts Hill in the city.